Hi, my name is Steve Young. I'm a product specialist at Astronix Test Systems. Uh, welcome to another video that uh, aims to answer some of the more frequently asked questions. Uh, today's question is, what is cross-compiling? Uh, cross-compiling is a very simple topic, very easy to, uh, to get your head around. Uh, now, all of our functional patterns in TestView are written directly from the manufacturer's data sheet. And if you were testing these devices out of circuit, then cross-compiling would never happen. But cross-compiling happens, let's take a look, when your device is mounted in a PCB and it's connected to other devices and it may be configured with, in a particular way to enable it to perform a particular function. So let's, let's take a look at U4. If we look at our properties and look at our symbol, we'll see there's no shorts or no interconnects connected to that device. All we can see is pin 19 and pin 7, which is our BCC and ground pins. Um, so what happens when we test the device? One of the tests involved is a shorts test. And the shorts test will detect uh, any shorts to BCC, any shorts to ground, and any shorts to other pins. Uh, it looks from every pin to every other pin and will detect any shorts on that device. So let's test U4 and see what happens. So we'll see the shorts test here. There we go, there's our shorts test. And it's detected a lot of pins shorted to ground and a pin shorted high. Now, the cross-compile utility has popped up. And that pops up to tell you that the shorting pattern is not already in our library. So TestView goes to the library and it looks through all of our patterns and it says, I haven't got a matching shorting pattern in the library. And if I click OK now, it'll modify that existing functional pattern to match the shorts that have been detected. And once it's done that, you get this fancy little cross-hatch pattern on your device to say that we, this device has been cross-compiled. And all that needs to be done is for you to go in and check that that pattern is good and proper and works correctly. Um, so now if we open up our properties, we can look at our symbol and we can now see how that shorting pattern looks on our device. Um, you can see all of these input pins are now shorted to ground. We, we have two other control pins shorted to ground and two other control pins shorted together. So looking at that device, the behavior of that device um, is going to be slightly different because of the pins that have been shorted together. And all you have to do as the um, test engineer is to go into the code and check the code to make sure that you haven't accidentally uh, detected a, a failure mechanism. So, so when cross-compiling pops up, all it's telling you basically is detected some shorts on your device and those shorts do not exist in our library already and that you have to go and check them. It's as simple as that. So thank you for watching and um, we'll post a video uh, a bit later to show you how to edit your pattern and check it and uh, to make sure that it's working okay. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.